Hi everyone, this is Mrs. A. Saranya, Assistant Professor, Department of Nutrition and Dietetics, KSR College of Arts and Science, Bhagavan, Tirchungo. Today we are going to discuss about the macro minerals, calcium and phosphorus. Calcium is a major element in the body and an adult man of 60 kg has nearly 1 kg of calcium. Almost 99% of this calcium is found in the heart tissues of the body, namely the bones and teeth. The rest is distributed in blood and soft tissues such as muscles, the liver and the heart. In the blood, half of the calcium exists in the form of pre-dissolved calcium ions. About 40% is loosely bound to the protein molecules and the remaining 7 to 10% is within the low molecular weight ion ionic compounds such as calcium citrate and calcium phosphate. The functions of calcium. It has an important role in the formation of bones and teeth. The important mineral minerals within the bone are calcium, phosphate and magnesium. Calcium comprises 39.9% of the weight of bone mineral. There is about 1 kg of calcium in the adult skeleton as a complex crystalline material with phosphate in the form of hydroxyapatite. This mineral is laid in, down in the organized manner on the organic mattress, the main constituent of which is collagen. There are also important non-collagen proteins within the skeleton. And it has an important role and it helps our nerves uh, to carry the messages between the brain and the body. Helps our muscles to contract. It supports the normal uh, blood circulation. It helps our bodies to release the hormones called calcitonin. This calcium Act as a cofactor and the regulator of biochemical reactions like blood clotting, contraction of muscles, calcium as an intracellular messenger. The certain hormones exert their action through the medi mediation of calcium. Calcium is regarded as a second messenger for such hormonal action. Example, epinephrine in the liver glycogenolysis. It releases hormones such as insulin, PTH and calcitonin from the endocrine glands as facilitated by calcium ions. It has a contact inhibition and it is believed to involve in cell contact and addition of cells in a tissue. It has an important action on the heart, acts on myocardium and prolongs systole. It helps in influencing a membrane structure and transport of water and several ions across it. It helps in the activation of enzymes such as lipase, ATPase and succinate dehydrogenase. So as on the uh, RDA 2020-20, it is regarded that calcium should be taken 1000 mgs for an adult man and for uh, the adult women uh, uh, should consume about 1000 mg of calcium and it excludes the pregnant and lactating mothers. Calcium rich foods. The calcium rich foods were the dairy products and the uh, foods like green leafy vegetables especially fenugreek leaves drumstick leaves and the ragi is an excellent source of calcium. The ratio of about the calcium phosphorus ratio of about 1.2 is to 1 in the milk is regarded as a most favorable for bone development. And the common signs of calcium deficiency will be tetany and the muscle spasms, hypertension, formation of kidney stones, sleeplessness, brittle nails and dry skin, unusual menstrual cramps, joint pain, osteoporosis and fragile bones. Phyosis or curvature on the back. The deficiency of calcium causes hypocalcemia. The bones became fragile due to the decreased level of calcium. Hypocalcemia and often shows signs of osteoporosis. The, you can see the difference between the normal bone and the bone uh, which is infected by the osteoporosis. The phosphorus. Phosphorus constitutes approximately 1% of the weight of the human body, largely in the form of phosphate. Up to 90% of the phosphorus in the body is found within the, within the form of calcium phosphate crystals in bones and teeth. The functions of phosphorus. The, it helps in the mineralization of bones and teeth. It facilitates of energy transactions. Energy released during the oxidation of carbohydrates, fats, proteins and alcohol is stored in the cells within the structure of phosphate containing compound adenosine triphosphate. It helps in the absorption and transport of nutrients. It forms our genetic material DNA and RNA. It helps in the regulation of protein activity. Many proteins including many enzymes are turned on or off by the phosphorylation reactions that attach phosphate groups to particular amino acids within the proteins concerned. It helps to maintain the normal acid balance and it helps the oxygen to deliver in the body. It keeps the uh, healthy function of our brain and nervous system.
efficiency of phosphorus will lead to hypophosphatemia that is less than 0.8 millimole uh, of, uh, of uh, phosphates in the uh, liter of blood. Uh, this is uh, caused due to the transcellular shift, increased excretion and decreased intake uh, that may be due to dietary deficiency or malabsorption. The dietary deficiency is due to anorexia or chronic alcoholism and the malabsorption is due to uh, the consumption of antacids which are rich in aluminium or magnesium and inflammatory bowel disease, teratoria or chronic diarrhea. Increased excretion is due to a small bowel diarrhea or enteric fistula or the renal uh, excretion is due to hyperparathyroidism, vitamin D deficiency, hypophosphatic rickets, oncogenic osteomalacia, Fanconi syndrome, osmotic diuresis, acute volume expansion, acetozolamide and theozide diuretics. And this, uh, the increased consumption of phosphate will lead to the uh, toxicity of uh, uh, toxicity that is impaired bone mineralization, increased cell death, impaired cell signaling, premature aging, vascular calcification, impaired fertility, increased tumorogenesis and renal dysfunction. Thank you.